So this is my bare face. We're gonna start off with, I wanna show you, this is the Kevin D foundation and the Max Primer um, setting spray. I'm gonna start with spraying my face. I kinda run my fingers through everything. And this is a, a new beauty blender that I'm trying out. I usually do the brushes, but this time I decided to give this a try. I really like how it turned out. Um, the Kevin D foundation is in color medium. And I'm just trying to make everything look more even. Um, kind of get the spots that I didn't, I didn't look into. So it's a little bright. So this is the new... Um, foundation stick that i am trying it's the revolution i love how creamy it is and how easy it was to blend and um just the color overall i used to have the nyx but this really blew my mind it's very very well made very creamy really um easy to blend very i don't know i don't know how to say like i love how um it really went with my skin and how it made it feel it was very light but like i said it had like a lot of pigment so i really liked how um how it blended and just the color everything overall it was my first time trying it and i will be purchasing some more so like um you see i kind of try to blend it really good um, it doesn't have to be, you know, 100% perfect, but you want to get it as best as you can. I love doing my nose because I like that pointy kind of looking nose. So I like to do my nose real good. I do my cheeks, my jawline, and my forehead. So, um, once you blend it really good, um... Then we're going to use the concealer, and this is by Kat Von D, and I believe it's in color medium. Um, it has more of like a reddish kind of tint, to be honest with you. So um, I will double check on that color. And I like to like really cover my um, dark circles. So I figure with that little bit of a red tint, it would really... Um, cover them up, but I have to go over it twice. Um, I like this concealer because you can kind of build it to your your coverage that you want. So I like that. Now this is the first time that I'm trying Laura Mercier um, powder. Um, I really like it. Um, it's very light which I really enjoy that. It doesn't leave me like a very white under eye, which it was exactly what I was going for. So I liked that. And I'm also going like under my, my cheeks and underneath my lip to kind of help it bring it up, like make it lighter, make it, I guess, more thinner on the the thinner kind of side so um i like doing that now i'm going to be using the cavon d um contour kit i am using the little bit of a darker um and that's just to kind of help it um look better more natural um and kind of set that kind of creamy revolution foundation stick, if that makes sense. Um, but I love how natural it made it look. Um, it did. It, it looked very smooth. Also, um, I thought it was a great combo. Now I'm going to put a little bit of that Laura Mercier um, powder on my nose, to as you can tell to make it look a little more pointier so i do it on my sides and a little bit on the top um i really wanted to get my um my dark circle so i went and i apply a little more um to just kind of help bake better and look lighter i guess 
so right now I'm just going over it um and I'm gonna do my eyebrows which I did with Wonderbrow and if you know that takes a little bit of time drawing it and kind of reapplying it so that's why I did it off camera this is the the BH Cosmetics Carly B I believe palette um, we're going to use the brown that it carries. Um, I like the colors because they're very shimmery and very well pigmented. So I like that about them. And you can, you, you know, with very little, it goes a long way. So that's what I really liked about them. And I'm only using one brush. And this was kind of a fast on the go because I had stuff to do. Now I'm going to use that gold just um, on the inner corner of my eyes. To make them you know a little brighter and on top oh i guess it would be under my eyebrow <laughs> as you can tell and just very little i wasn't applying you know not much at all i thought this eyebrow looked very funny like like if i was surprised or something like that um now we're gonna do our eyeliner i really am in love with this eyeliner I've always used wet and wild eyeliner. So lately I changed to the the NYX, I'm sorry, the NYX and I really really like it. Um it's the the little wand or brush. It's so easy to work with and with one stroke it's like very clean. I love it. So there we have our eyeliner. And I usually curl my eyelashes with a spoon, but I decided to purchase a curler. Um, so now, now we're doing the mascara. And this is the new mascara that NYX came out with. And I love it as well. Um, now, this is the Sephora um, eyelashes. I'm not sure about the style, but I was not happy with them. They were not curly they were pretty much just straight sticking so i did not like the lashes and like i showed you like i wasn't too happy about my eyebrow it just looked funny to me uh we're gonna be applying our blush and this one is by tarte and that's the one that they give you for your birthday i don't know if it doesn't really have a name it's just kind of a pinkish um and i kind of like to do it on my nose a little bit um, now, this is the Anastasia Highliner by Emirates, I think. I think I'm saying it wrong. I was completely in love with it. And as you can tell, I just kept on putting more and more and more. At the end, I was like, I think I went a little bit overboard. But huh, who cares? Um, so I go on my cheeks, my nose, on top of my lips. And I, um, I just kept on doing it over and over so I must have done it like five times because <laughs> I was like in love with how it looks so pretty it looks very like light only when the when the light hits it you can really tell now I'm using the NYX um, matte lipstick and I am going to pair it with uh, a little bit of a darker one I don't usually use um, darker lipsticks but I decided to go with it and I ended up really liking it. I um I prefer the matte um kind of lipsticks, not the creamy. I just I I feel like the creamy don't look very good on me, but and especially the dark colors. But I I really liked how this one turned out. So um and this is how it looks. I thought it would look very pretty. The color, the two together, looked amazing. So I really like that. So I was in love. Oh, we're doing the setting spray. We'll do a little bit of spray. And I loved how the highlighter um, looked on my face. I usually don't do this, but I was so in love with it. So I was like, well, let me put it on my neck. So I started like plying it and like I did it. I must have done it like 10 times. And then I'm like, okay, we got to stop with this highlighter. <laughs> Let's, let's move on. Um, and then I just went ahead and I did my hair. So I hope you guys like it. Please um, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.